Seven, I think, and we got uh, uh, eight o'clock uh, sunsets, and actually, it's until August sixth. Right. The latest is uh, June twenty seventh. Yes. That's what I'm trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. Here are the three key things. Fire danger for today and Wednesday. Yeah, 8 o'clock sunsets begin today. And looking down the road, we're going to be topping out close to 80 degrees inland today. But a frost is possible early Thursday morning, and it could be a widespread frost. We'll talk about that in a second. Sunset times today. Yeah, 8 o'clock is the first day of the 8 o'clock sunsets. A couple weeks from now, 8-12, June 27th, 8-26. That's the latest sunset of the year. Meanwhile, we've got blue sky in New Bedford. It's a nice afternoon so far. A few clouds mixing with the blue sky in Lincoln. Fire weather warning in effect for today. Relative humidity is going to be dropping through the afternoon 10 to 20 percent. That's very dry air. Got winds gusting to 35 miles an hour, especially mid to late afternoon. And the brush is very dry. The last appreciable rain we've had May 7th, and that really wasn't all that much. So high fire danger for today. Please, no open burning of uh, brush, no fire pits, campfires, definitely no fireworks. Be careful how you discard any smoking materials. We're at 74 in Providence, 72 in Smithfield, Coventry 71, 67 in Newport, out on Black Island, 66 degrees. In Providence, we've got some milky sky, still a little smoke in the sky. I'm thinking we'll begin to see more in the way of blue sky over the next 24 hours. We kind of lose some of that smoke from the Western Canada wildfires. Winds right now from the west, southwest at 18 miles an hour, gusting as high as 25. We got some clouds around this morning. They've left looking at fairly quiet conditions at the moment. Do we have a front off to our north? Now that front is going to be diving down into southern New England over the next 24 hours ahead of it. A blend of sunshine and a few clouds around. It'll be kind of windy as well. The front comes on by overnight tonight and then moves offshore. Wouldn't it be nice to get some of that rain? But we're going to miss out on that. Uh, tomorrow, winds turn more northwest and northerly and cooler air will be working its way in for Wednesday. Wednesday's highs could be 15, maybe 20 degrees cooler than what we'll have today. So for today, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 70s to maybe even low 80s in a few spots. Going to be fairly breezy. Winds from the southwest, 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusting as high as 35, especially by mid to late afternoon for tonight. Down around 48 degrees, so we're not looking at a frost or a freeze tonight. That frost or a freeze will arrive on on Thursday morning, late Wednesday night, Thursday morning. So highs tomorrow about 63. And then on Thursday, starting the day, look at these temperatures in the 30s across a good portion of the area. 31 in Taunton, 33 Smithfield, 35 Coventry, even in Providence, 37. So yeah, we're looking at a really cold start to the day Thursday for this time of year at least. Sunshine, 64 for Thursday afternoon after a quick warm up. 70 Friday, maybe some rain showers over the weekend. Full forecast, you can always get that at WPRI.com. Just kind of windy and warm this afternoon. All right, thank you, TJ. Coming up all new tonight on 12 News at 4, trying to get a grip on artificial intelligence. How lawmakers are now grilling executives today on Capitol Hill over what ground rules should govern AI. At 5, caregivers calling for the state now to step in on Providence's Charles Gate Nursing Center, now set to close later this summer. At 6, updates on Rhode Island State authorities sending out the advisory over the fire weather warning. That and much more starting at 4 o'clock here on WPRI 12. A new study from